All right, this is not my first game of the day. Uh, this was, but I noticed like three minutes in that my mic was screwing with me, so I just saved the replay and I'll record it after this. And yeah, so we are using more Porygon 2 because I haven't really cleared out my GSC stuff yet. It's harder to, for me to dig up fun stuff on command in this generation, so we see that it is a curse lack, so spikes, roar, and deal with. Unfortunately, the T-Wave is actually going to not work so well for me because I can't toxic it, but I will survive. And especially with the awesome power of Rhydon. And he is Earthquake, so I might just be boned because I decided to get very, very greedy. Whew, that's not good. Alright. I need some major luck. Hopefully he just gets scared and switches. So I gotta explode and then go to my champ and cross chop or something ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. So I'm gonna curse. Just cause that'll give me better odds, I think. Off to a great start. And actually the RBY game did get me off to a great start. And then I had the delay. And today, actually I get two curses out of this, so this is great. <laughs> All that just to set up my champ, right? Totally worth it. Uh, let's see if a third curse is optimal here. Plus two is never killing. Plus three is... Yeah, I'd rather just hit the two rock slides. Oh! The three rock slides, because he is reflect. Must be running some stall. Well, I don't want to curse and get whirlwinded, so I'm just going to... Yep, Rock Slide, hopefully get a flinch. Not quite, but this isn't all bad. I mean, I have a feeling I'm facing a very nasty Fortress team, which is probably going to bend me over real hard, but yeah. So I'm just going to Ice Beam, hit the Zapdos hard, and now go to this, and hopefully Flamethrower a Fortress, or Blissey. Yeah, okay. So definitely some hardcore stall. Although usually you'll see a drum or a toxic lax on super hardcore stall teams, so here come the plus one body slams, hopefully spreading the paralysis I require. I'm not even going to bother uh, flamethrowing the Skarmory because I want it parried, because Machamp is going to pose a threat. Alright, toxic. Fine. Nice. Alright, and now I hopefully will 2 it, KO it, or crit it, with flamethrower. Not a good feeling to have to rely on hacks. Uh, obviously, I know that sometimes that's what you have to do, but you sh I would prefer to pl be in a position where I don't have to rely on it. So now he's going to switch out, and that means either no sleep talk or no curse. So now he's going to spin my shit away, so that really sucks. But on the bright side, the semi-bright side, uh, then Machamp does look really scary. Alright, well I'm just gonna keep roaring. Or, uh, I'm just gonna rest, as getting a para isn't that big a deal on this anyway. Because he's got heal bell. I just want to waste his bells, and that's fine. Alright, I want to thunder, because I want to hurt Snorlax, most of all, but I also want to get Blissey to waste a heal bell and this one this game definitely got away from me very quickly because I chose to play like a fool so good news is Golem usually does not run rest on these teams so I can just go to this thing and I'm gonna check for the spiker first just to see if I can deny it and alright well, it's back to Blissey now, so I'm gonna go to Lax. Oh, he just reflected in the face of Snorlax, in the face of Zapdos. Ball Z. Okay, so he does have Cloyster, so good team. Well, I'm gonna try and spread some uh, Para. He's not gonna want to stay in, so luckily I can Thunder Wave him with impunity 
Yeah, it's all about the para and then winning with Machamp, I believe. Uh, that was a really ballsy reflect. Anyway, this one's going to take a while, so I'll look for another. Uh, I'm going to keep Porygon 2 alive because it feels like he could be more useful, and as long as the Cloister's alive, I'm going to use it to... Hmm... Yeah, I'm going to use it to bring in Zapdos and then wear down that golem with body slams. The end goal, of course, is Machamp. I mean, in theory, he would lose to a last Pokemon, um, Curselax, but I don't know how feasible that is. Between, actually, he's got his own Curse Lax and two Explosions and Toxic from Skarm, so I probably wouldn't bet on it. So, it's just all about getting those Paras. And Curses, of course. I'd also love to know if he's got a Toxic on Blissey. Alright, he's mixing up his switches, which I suppose he has to. Hopefully I can dodge a Toxic here. Not quite, but now I'm going to throw out plus two body slams and chip the golem in addition to... Nice, I will take that. So, golem's getting uncomfortable, so Snorlax might be able to pose a threat on its own. As Zapdos comes back in, and... So will Snorlax. I'll just rest immediately. Cool. I'll burn the turn, that's fine. And I will... Actually, I'm going to go to Zapdos, just in case he decides to... He is rest. Alright, so no explosion. But that means Machamp is going to be really irritating for him. So I'm just going to spam Double Edge. No need to waste an Ice Beam against this non-threatening golem, and I just want to hit the cloister harder. This is going to be a slow game. I actually can't stay on all day today, because I do have a freaking Zoom class at uh, 0300 hours. So now i got to make things happen with the Machamp. Problem is, the Toxic Skarmory is really going to cramp my style. So I'm going to go to Snorlax on either Zapdos or Skarm and versus... Alright, he's going to go right to Zapdos. Just burning those sleep turns. So that works. I'm just going to look for a para on Zapdos. I'm going to need a para on Zapdos and para on Skarm, but that's fine. And uh, no, it's not fine. This matchup is really not looking pleasant. Yeah, I'm going to have to go Machamp, and I'm going to curse just a nice, oh, that works really nicely, and now it's time for Cross Chop to do Cross Chop things. Ni oh, bummer. Well, at least I forced this thing out. And I go, if he's, actually a smart player will go to Snorlax here. So I'm just going to Thunderway. Oh, Blissey, okay. Alright, this might prompt him to go to Skarmory, which I can then para. Yes. Para this. Come on, come on, I need this one. Good. Good, good, good. Right. 
may as well see how far I can get with Lax here. Just, I know that that is pitiful damage, but I want to show. Is he Whirlwind? Is he not? Okay, so Machamp in here. All right, good. Zapdos, gotta come in. Gotta make something happen. All right, if this goes to sleep, then I can maybe, hmm. No, it's, I gotta make stupid risky moves here like this. Going back to Machamp. And I don't know if it's enough. I'm gonna rock slide, he stays in. Getting really risky. Well, that works out. Let's see. Machamp versus Blissey. Cross chop through reflect will not be KOing. A crit definitely would. Alright. Just whirlwind me, please, and give me that flinch. No, he's thunder. Shit. Well, I gotta pray here. And otherwise, this is going to be a 6 0 to start out the game. To start out the video. Oh. Oh. He decided to play it safer. Alright, I'm going to risk it and go to P2 here. Alright, he's got to hit another one. I don't feel like going to Snorlax because that is just going to set me back even more. Alright, Statist. Back to Machamp. Skarmory's still parried. He really wants that heal bell. So here's the Blissey again, and now I'm going to have to crit it, pretty much. Hmm, it's that or that, pretty much. Yes, all right, Reflect gone. Ooh, but champ, can you do it? Plus one cross chop is gonna to a KO Skarm. And Rock Slide plus Cross Chop will not KO him. Cause 23, so let's just say he's gonna do a net uh, 20-ish percent. So down to 60, so no, I gotta hope for some cross chop magic. Yeah, I don't think paralyzing him down or paraflinching him down is more reliable. Oh, hey, I have a... Look at that. A uh, fan. Yes, or the last video, which was recorded yesterday. I don't know when this is being uploaded. Come on. Come on. Come on. Fuck. Alright, still not over. Because the Skarmory is in trouble. Blissey. Alright, Blissey... Does not want to be taking plus one body slams at all. I mean, he's probably going to get the heal bell off and be okay, but... I gotta do what I can. One para, one para. Nope. Come on. He's still in a... Well, now he's going to switch to his lax. I gotta get something, right? Come on, boy. I don't know if it's, it's probably not going to be enough. Alright. This is where the crit or full para happens. Funnily enough, Snorlax isn't even the biggest threat to my sweep. It's just another annoyance. Alright, well... I don't think this one's happening. A uh, nice move there from him. Didn't expect this thing to be running Thunder over Thunderbolt at all. Alright. Give me 
All right, fine, that. And now Blissey's coming in. Or no, last time he decided to stay in, and Blissey's at... Yeah, I can potentially... I'm not going to beat it down, but I can get much... I can get Snorlax in. And Skarmory is still at low, low health. And Snorlax is asleep. So I can still hit things with body slams, boosted body slams even, on the switch. And yeah, I think this is definitely the move. Oh, Skarmory. Well, there's that. Uh, Skarmory would have had to rest, but I think Flamethrower was wearing it down. He was at such low health. Well, not over yet. Now I'm looking for... Uh, something to work against the Zapdos. I'm running out of PP, unfortunately, but it's uh, just a Machamp miracle or two away. Speaking of miracles, this one seems semi within reach. Snorlax. Curse Lax. Zapdos. Reflect, plus one, 25.3. Well, I think the move is to body slam anyway, because even if he rests, then then he could be in trouble. Plus, I gotta keep doing that. The crit, the para, the everything. And now, he is in not happy range. He is, uh, because he is afraid of Ice Beam. So I can go to, I want a Thunder Wave because I want to hit Cloyster. Because I don't, I wanted to go to Machamp or Snorlax, but he can go to that against Blissey. To this thing. Or, um, to this against P2, sorry. I'm going to recover because, nice. Maybe I should have double-edged. Uh, I was expecting Blissey, but... I'm just gonna ice beam and wait, no no no. What's let me calc. Porygon two Thunder Wave. Ice beam. A potential kill. Ice beam's a roll, and he can crit full para. I can also freeze this blissey. Whoa. <laughs> Alright. This is how I win. All right, P2, go get her. Porygon 2 versus Blissey. Spamming double-edge, solid three at KO. Zapdos getting KO'd. Not letting Cloyster come in for free. Snorlax uh, asleep. Cloyster. All right, I'm going to play it safe here. All right, now the double two Machamp and spamming Cross Chop. Yeah. Okay, no, spamming Earthquake because I don't want to miss Cross Chop. And if he goes to Zapdos, I'm rock sliding anyway, and uh, it's fine. So, yes. Cloy, I'm out of, he's out of Cross Chop range. I gotta preserve this thing at all costs. I'm gonna thunder here just to keep him honest. And fine. This is another. As soon as he burns sleep, then Machamp is in for more cross chop fun. And that means another KO, God willing. So, fingers crossed. Zapdos goes down. He has to force out Machamp with Cloyster every time. And that means more Machamp death. Good move, but he's gonna... Hmm. See, that is a good move because then he's gonna survive, and so I gotta thunder him down. 
Oh, I get really lucky there. And I'm not going to risk anything. I'm going to keep thundering. I want to force the rest. I don't want to take a hit on the, uh, on the switch and potentially lose. So good move on his end. All right, now Machamp comes in. The worst he can do is like double switch to Cloyster and wear Machamp down with spikes, but hopefully he's not going to do that. All right, cross chop, be with me. As Blissey goes down. So close. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to go to Porygon 2 because it allows less setup from Snorlax. And I actually want to die to the Cloyster. Nice move from him. But I'm going to start spamming the double edge. And force the rest again. Yeah, I want to die to the Cloyster with Porygon 2 so I can get so it can be in Machamp range. All right, double edge. Keep going, keep it going. Hopefully he's double edge, so any attack he uses on me will bring much recoil. And we're going for double edges because we want those crits to really sting. I mean, I'm still very possibly losing to this lax, but All right, Machamp, Curse versus Snorlax. All right, we've got all our calcs in order. Yeah, I think the move is absolutely to go for Cross Chop Criticals and Yeah, not yet. I'm not gonna... I mean, I only have three more, but I'm gonna try to make them count. Alright, I'm gonna try and stall him with my Curse Lax then. Huh. <laughs> well... Well, either way, this has been A, a lesson, and B, uh, thrilling. Actually, it's been many lessons. So he's at 999 attack now. I just, I'm obligated to stick it out at this point. Now, the Curse Lax is really carrying him here because it's a Drum Lax. This Curse Lax always that last ditch, last ditch. So I don't have that much PP uh, for attacking, so it's. Not really ideal at all. I just gotta. Hmm. Snorlax plus six, plus six. Curse Lax is. At uh, plus five, is double edge, is a four hit KO. And my. Body slam is uh, like nine, none hit KO. Six, yeah, okay. So, since it's a four hit KO, then rest, sleep one, sleep two, heal, repeat the process. As opposed to. Uh, yeah, I don't want to eat this one and then lose the speed tie, so I'm going to have to rest and. Cross my fingers. If I can run him out of a double edges, then I'll stall him with Zapdos. Which would be super funny. Pinnacle of comedy. Alright. Now I have the luxury of cursing up to plus six. And going for flamethrower burns. Just to stall him. A little bit. Force more rests. He's already down to 11 rests, which is actually not a ton. So 
So we just cross our fingers. But we had to do that anyway. Cool. That was a stay home ad. Agreed. Stay home and watch all my shit. Hmm. Yep, just uh, no change here. Force rests. Get a burn. I'm trying to save my body slams for when there really is no other choice. Because it needs insane luck to get anywhere at all, so I'd rather see if I can get somewhere without them. So. He's got a lot of attacking PP, but... Alright, there's another rest, so I'll just waste my two curses. That probably wasn't optimal, but whatevs. Yeah, like at the the end of the day, then it is still just a Machamp cross chop crit away from winning. So burns another rest. I'll take it. I'm just gonna rest at full, just because I don't think I'm gonna be using the extent of these, and my goal is to chip his rests down more so than use my own. So. Now I'm still ahead of his, which is pretty funny. So, give me the burn. There's another. That's cool. Alright, so there's one, two. Alright, so let's keep it coming. He's burning through his curses too, so there's that, and eventually I'll, he'll be forced to attack, and I'll be able to actually burn turns with my rest. So he, I get the burn and he rests there anyway, so cool. I'll just keep spamming Flamethrower now, because I actually do want to be able to rest on him. Because uh, he's soon to be done with all his curses and rests. So then he'll have to attack so my he won't be able to just not attack while I fail with rest. So I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah, and a after Snorlax goes down to his, then I'm going to go to P2 and Thunder Wave it. So I can... Uh, so I have extra odds and whatnot. So... Yeah, still in it. Still very much in it. I'm just going to force a rest here, or use a rest here, as there goes his last. So now he's either attacking me, or meaning I can actually use rest, or he's using attack PP. So, there's the edge. I'll just use another flamethrower, and then I'm gonna... There's another burn, that's nice. Let's see. Body slam, crit, yeah, I would need like two, so... Plus, I might just crit him here and win the speed tie and he would rest it off, so. But then again, there's never really going to be an optimal time. So, I'm just going to rest now alongside him. He's got four. We're both going to wake up at the same time. And I'll use a flamethrower. I want to keep Zapdos alive instead of uh, forcing him down with thunder because I would like to um, hmm. 
I want to keep it alive for Cloyster because my champ still is not favored to beat Cloyster. So. Yeah, and thanks to crit mechanics, then even a crit isn't guaranteed to do it. Although, obviously, I don't want to take one. So now I am stalling his moves. I don't think I really have enough to do that with, but. Double edge, 27, 32. So, two kill me from 54. Very likely. So, not going to chance it. Just going to rest. He's going to spam double edge, and I think we're going to stay in this. All right, so one more time, stalling. As I've said many times in my videos that Double Edge Lax has the edge over Body Slam, which is a truth, pretty much. And we see here how he has the edge. I prefer to lose the speed tie and rest, but uh, beggars can't be choosers and whatnot. Oh, now he's going to rest. So now I think it's time for me to start attacking him. Because he's down to three, and I've got a couple body slams. So I'm going to use one, and then I'm going to rest myself, because I feel like there's no way he's going to pass up the opportunity to also rest. And so ideally, we both rest here. And if not, then I hope I lose the speed tie and he double edges me first for max damage, for max recoil, for a good measure. But I'm going to rest first. He's going to also rest. Perfect. Who knew that Curse Lax Wars could be so interesting? So we burn our turns, and now I will body slam him. Because, and he's only got two rests left. So, can I force the second rest? Uh-oh. Thank... That was not the turn I wanted that to happen. Come on, buddy. No! Alright. Porygon 2, it is time. Let's see. Curse Lax versus Porygon 2. Plus six double edge will KO me, so I'm gonna gonna double edge versus his lax would also KO him. So I'm going to because I wanna if he's smart he's gonna T wave here. Um because or he's gonna rest because that means I cannot paralyze him. And since Ice Beam Freeze is a higher chance than a double edge crit, then I'm going to go for that. Nice move, I guess. I don't know. Well, come on, my champ. It's all up to you, buddy. He's going to get the crit. He's going to get the crit. No. All right. Not over yet because Zapdos can still crit to win. And he's going to do it. Zapdos is going to crit to win. Not quite. Well, that was a tough one. Yikes. So, um, yeah. Lesson learned. 30 minute lesson learned. So now while I pull up another advanced team, definitely going to leave the GSC for today. This is the first game I had of the day against my daddy, GG, once more. Really getting to know him. Nice guy. I'm going to make the replay go on fast. And I'm going to pause it real quick while I import this Haunter Gengar team I made. It's, it follows a similar principle to my um, it follows a similar principle to my what's it called? Jump left team. It, and that it's just big five and then uh, the random sixth. 
So, uh, yeah, oh, back to this one. Yeah, it's Chansey surviving by the skin of its teeth. And we'll skip ahead as... Starmie and Chansey and counter. So cool. And then Snorlax comes in and counters the egg for a bunch. And Chansey comes in on Sleep Powder and manages to heal back up. I was afraid of Double Edge, but my plan was to follow up with Starmie anyway. So, and I managed to sing the egg, so that's awesome. Heal Chansey, go Snorlax. Body Slam Cloister for minimal damage, but Starmie is alive and well, so that's fine. And I get an instant freeze on the dropping Zam, and then there's Cloister. And then there's Tauros, and who's switching into Starmie, so that's usually that's a sign of desperation, as it is revealed that the last is not in fact Chansey. Uh, as I decided to let Chansey go, because I figured I would have a better chance at stalling out other Chansey with my other guys, but in fact it is a Dragonite. So it's just more switching around because I managed to get the para on it. And just wait. So that in addition to rap accuracy. Just, uh, oh, and I blizzard and I kill him, so, cool. So, let's move on to Gen 3, and let's see if Haunter Gengar has any, uh, merit. Alternatively, I guess we'll just look for something else that's actually playing. Gen 4, let's go with this lovely team. And in the next battle, I will open by checking the ranks. Nope, all right, Gen 5. Let's get some dragon action. As you can see there, the ranks we have now, so, because it might be a while before we get anything. Fine, I'll just go back to RBY. All right, Jinx lead. And I'm going to just psychic it because I want to be able to sleep. So hopefully I get... Well, that's ideal. Well, ideal is he misses a million sleeps. And I crit him down, but that works, so he can't really threaten me as much. So now Snorlax comes in, go into Chansey. And I'll see where I go from there. If I should get the sleep or if I should take a counter... Well, that's very dicks. So now I'm gonna uh, go to... So he's got the sleep and the freeze, and that's the way this team likes to operate, so that ain't fun. Freeze is really heavy in, on this ladder. All right, I get a free sing-off here, I hope. Hopefully Lax just stays in. I mean, I think he's gonna go to Jinx, but you never know. He does go to Jinx. And I miss, which is to be somewhat expected. I don't want to take a Psychic. But then again, I don't really want to switch into Lax. Alright, so go Snorlax. Hopefully reverse some momentum here with a big, big counter. No, that sucks. Well, now I got a Self-Destruct. He made the good move there. This guy is all over me. Maybe he knows what I like to do with this team. But uh, blowing up Chansey isn't so bad. That means Lapras is really dangerous, almost by default. And now I'm going to go to Egg and hope he does not go to Jinx. Uh, that's really not ideal at all. But if I can sleep the Starmie, that's great. I think he's just going to go to Jinx, but uh, sleeping Jinx is fine because then I will spam... No, 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 no. Yeah. Good enough. I want to get a drop here. On the Starmie and then Mega Drain. I mean, that's really not bad at all. Because, um, that's really good for Tauros. I don't know what his last is. Maybe, like, Zapdos, but, um, let's see. Is he going to go to, yeah, I want to prevent him from going to the normals on my 
thing on my Lapras. So I'm going to just Thunderbolt, because now Lapras is actually kind of threatening. So taking advantage of the lower speed set. Uh-oh, a Jolteon. That's not good at all. Matter of fact, that is terrible. I have to get really lucky here. <sighs> Nothing doing. All right, well, my great start with this game has suddenly dropped into two losses, and we're facing my daddy again. And now I don't know. Now he's probably going to be up to my tricks, so hopefully Chansey gets the sleep off, and then another freeze and counter. I mean, I he knows that I have countered now, which, because we already played today, so that's not as effective. Oh, is that going to drop me to under 1400 in RBY? I have a bad feeling it is. Nope, still above. Hopefully this keeps me above, although if I'm facing his Dragonite antics, then who knows? Come on, come on! Now I gotta... Well, I'm going to go back to Chansey, fingers crossed. No, he makes the good move, and I'll just keep it for Death Fodder. And now I'm going to Thunder Wave this stupid-ass Zam, and pray. <laughs> and nope. All right, if this... Yeah, okay, forget that. Wow, what a crummy start. Actually, it was a great start, and then those last three games happened. And I cannot get a game in the anything else. Mondays, am I right? All right. Rain, no spinner. Meaning... Alright, please lead off with Latios. If I can... DD Latios actually looks pretty nasty. It's just a matter of setting it up safely. And, yeah, I'm just going to lead off, get my rocks. Ideally get a KO. Yeah, because I can't afford to... Um, lead Kiram against Latios, that would be disastrous. Or Keldeo. I think he's just going to lead off Polito just because default, but actually, am I Chopple Zone? Yeah, I'm Chopple Zone, so I'm going to lead off with that. Weird a lead as it may seem, it will get an edge on Politoed and... No, no, that's fucking stupid. No, I can't lead it against... No, yeah, I can lead it against Latios, because I have Thunder Wave. And against Keldeo, I will just destroy it with Chopple. So, not ideal. Usually wouldn't do this, but it's time to make some moves. So, if this one's not going to have anything doing, I'm just going to search for another game. All right. Soy Fawn. Let's see what's going on here. Invite only, that must be serious. I wonder if this is going to be the SPL Finals tiebreak Trick Scarf Uxi team, or if it's just something else. So, we will just get up rocks and see where it goes. Wow. Everyone's really sleepy today. Even Uxi is asleep. Although, I guess that's usually the case. Alright, so he's not going to rocks or T wave or anything. He's just going to go to Starmie and Hydro. That's interesting. I mean, most Uxie would just get up rocks, or at least T-Wave, or trick a scarf, even if they don't have rocks, which is weird to me. Even teams with the second Stealth Rock are still have Stealth Rock on their Uxie, just because it's such a useful move. Anyway, I'm just going to crunch, because safer and Starmie switching out isn't necessarily a bad thing. That is, though, that is really not nice. So I'm gonna go to Suicune, because I hope to absorb a Spore or a Mach Punch. Nice, I'll take it. And now I will go to Magnezone, because, okay, 
Well, I wanted to catch Starmie, but I'll take spamming Thunderbolt. Because I can't imagine his team is going to be too confident against it. I mean, there might be a tar, but as I get a free 9 points in black and white, so that's cool. So, Thunderbolt spam. God, that does a ton. And he can't even be something like Yawn. I don't know. Because, not going to be a Doug Trio, because Doug and Breloom almost never go together. And, yeah, there's going to be a Steel, so that's another non-switch in. And a, probably a Tar, maybe a Latias. And I do get T-Wave, so we had Rocks and T-Wave, but chose to not use either on Skarm lead. That's interesting. I mean, I'm not going to complain or anything, but interesting. So, Skarmory comes in. I'm going to fake like I have Brave Bird. And now am I going to... What am I going to do? Am I going to go to Tar? Am I going to Whirlwind? I'm going to go to Tar because even if he kills me, I will at least kill the Breloom with Dugtrio. And I don't really want to be put in that position but because I'm looking to catch Starmie. But uh, the, this, the nature of this team requires some... Uh, less than optimal moves quite often so and thankfully I get Starmie so at least now I can sack something and versus Breloom I'm debating if I'm gonna let just let Scarf Tar go or if it's gonna be Skarm or Zone I have a feeling uh, Scar uh, like Skarm you generally want to hold on to for things like Trick Room Bronzong and uh, Scarf Flygon and stuff, but I've got a Suicune, so there's his tar. I'm going to go to Skarm just to make sure it can't DD twice, so he doesn't go to Breloom. Yep, uh, that's still going to be an issue, because... Alright, well, f the Shuka set runs Ice Punch, Stone Edge, Earthquake, so hopefully he's not Shuka. Nope, he is. And I am going to hope for the speed tie with my tar. And now I am fucked. Because this doesn't kill, so I should have just gone right to Suicune, who also doesn't... God fucking damn it. Yeah, I don't care. <sighs> well, I gotta hope I wake up and rest here. Nope, alright. Good. Uh, everything except black and white is getting fucked today. As Gen 4 dips below 1500 again. Oh, good lord. Alright, nothing doing? Okay, I'll just go back to this, I guess. Ooh, it's just one of those days. And, yeah, the higher end of the ladder, the losing becomes a lot worse because it drops you down, uh, drops you down a lot, but it's also going to take a longer time to find games, so what the hell. And I'm just going to hope for another RBY, I guess. I'm going to look for something. So... Gen 2, I'm going to go for some Mixed Night stuff, I guess. As I have my breakfast of eggs.
All right. Oh, a Smeargle. Okay, well, I'll just get rocks because I want those. He's a Scarf Smeargle. Okay. All right, well, at least I got my rocks. And that is going to help against Stupid Asthma Champ a lot. And now I'll go to this on the bulk up, apparently. Well, no time like the Jirachi or something. That was a real expression that people use. Well, I'll, I've gotten him down, so I'll sack Mamo and I'll go to Infernape. And I cannot miss, thanks to No Guard. One of the worst feelings in the universe is when you miss a non-100% attack against a, an accidental Guts Machamp that then hits you with Dynamic Punch. Yep, truth is stranger than fiction. And he's got a Screen Zazelf and a Scarf Smeargle lead and... Huh. Hmm. These eggs are delicious. Oh, God. That's not good. Well, luckily, I have, um... A Vacuum Wave on Infernape, so... I'm just gonna go for that because... I... Don't want to risk this being like scarf or something dumb, because it doesn't didn't show life orb, and it doesn't really make a difference if I you hit uh, Azelf on the switch with it or not. You know, I'm just gonna pretend that that Lucario was scarfed and thus I made the correct move. Probably gonna sack Magnezone to the Smeargle when it comes back in. Oh, it was Aptos. How fun is that? Alright, don't discharge paralyze me or something. Alright, well, he's got life orbs, Aptos, but that is not going to be saved from the Stone Edge by the Reflect. God, that does a lot. Zapdos is strong. Cool. Who knows what last it's going to be. This is uh, truly... One of the seven mysteries of the world, or something. Mmm. My favorite. The all caps Italian username. Can never get enough of those. Alright, well, there's no... Um... Unfortunately, there's a Mamoswine, but there's also no Ladio, so... You know. Uh, zone, you can get tricked. Polytoad, I'll just get up rocks. Think it'll be useful. Oh, he's Scarf. Okay, well that means free Kiram death. If he goes Pharaoh, he goes Pharaoh. But it's fine. Good to know that he's... Uh, uh, that's annoying. I could have gone right to zone. Well, all right. Good to know he's shitty Scarf Toad. Because uh, Protect would actually potentially be annoying. Alright, back to Tar. Beat Azelf. Hope to God that whatever the hell is super random last is won't be able to beat my ass. I'll sack. The hope he doesn't sub. Why the fuck did I let him sub? Alright. Come on, Haxorus. You will not die to this non-life orb Ice Shard. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck me for letting it happen. Oh, God. Well, everything's getting ruined today. I was so optimistic after that start, and then the microphone was a bad omen, I guess. Oh, God. Okay, well, I got a crunch. Force an outrage from... Please don't be roost. Force an outrage from uh, his Dragonite, and then from my Dragonite onto his... And, yeah, hopefully this will be enough to where 
Infernape's vacuum wave will get the job done. Nope, no. Don't be lum, don't be lum, don't be lum. All right. He's lum. Vacuum wave crit. Well, I'm not going to get that, so... May as well complete this cycle of... Oh, come on. He decided to try and choke it and... Fuck. Well, and I can't even get a fucking Gen 3 game. Come on. Well, literally everything is getting ruined right now, so why not? You know, the, yesterday I was having a lot of fun playing, and that was not going to last, so... I'm sorry to come across as such a Debbie Downer, but I am frustrated. Laddering can be a real toll sometimes. Especially when you can't find a fucking game.
I totally forgot to turn my mic back on until now. Good lord. <laughs> wow, I'm just a mess today. My sincerest apologies, but... Yeah, hopefully you have um, been able to bear it. I am kind of tapping out right now. As you can see by my complete willingness to let this get tricked. You know, because Suicune is a tank. Look at that, that's nothing. I'm just going to spam Surf and it's all going to work out. Three straight edges, huh? Alright, bring me the zone. Yup. And he's a timid zone. Well, that didn't work out too nice. I'm just going to save the Skarm. Hopefully get a taunt. Nice. I'm just going to fire off a T-Bolt. And now I'm going to start dugging everything as Dugtrio kills these three. And then hopefully I can handle whatever, even though it's not likely. It's Dugtrio, Scarftar, Zone, and Skarm against the world. So he's got to reveal something new here at least. All right. I'm just gonna surf spam, just, yep, that, and also Celebi. And now Sand is going, so that's good. So, this Swamper is actually hella annoying. Also, he's probably running his patented Sash Heatran, so I can't just stay in on it. Loom. Cool. Now I will get my rocks. So that means Dugtrio is killing this, this thing, too. Except he's a subloom, because that is his set. Yeah, so I'm probably toast here. Okay, I'm definitely toast. Yep, not my day today. Alright, back to Suicune on the Swampert, and I'm going to rest up. This thing is really annoying, but I'm going to just... Throw out a Draco, because it doesn't really seem to enjoy it so far. So, double Draco, double, and that is down. I'll sack zone so we can only get one dance. And now I will Thunderbolt again. So Scarf Latias, awesome poke. Hopefully he's not Dragon Dance, and I get lucky. Get very lucky. Yeah. Uh, today has been on the disheartening side. Uh, do I need... Th I don't need this anymore, and this will let me clean up with... Scarf Tar. God, that did nothing. So, yeah, I'll just spam Crunch, and actually, I... Yeah, I'll spam Crunch and win with Latias. Yep. Yay, 1500 again. Nothing doing? Anything doing here? All right, well, I cannot seem to get a game at all in Gen 3. And Gen 4 seems to be pretty popular, so let's pick out one of these Untitled and see how they do. Alright, good username, 
I'm not gonna stay in because I don't want to. God, everyone recognizes me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, well, that's a good start. I'm gonna spike because who gives a shit about Magneton? I just want spikes. And looks like I'm facing some offense. Because a defensive team would probably move to match uh, my spikes. And now I'm going to Seismic Toss. And Tar is going to come in for free. I don't know what set it is. But lefties means less likely to be HP Grass. God, that does a ton. This is a Spidef Swampert. So I'm going to um, Spam Surf. Actually, no, I'm going to use Toxic, because I want to hit Zapdos. But he can also go to Snorlax. Well, if my goal is to clean up with these guys, then my move is too Toxic, because I don't really care about... Oh, God. And I managed to hit Cacturn. That's amazing. Well, the problem is that I now am going to deal with spikes, so I gotta really be careful about that tar. Well, I'll just deal with it by having a lot of spikes myself. And now I will go to my Gengar and fire off an Ice Punch, since nothing really seems to want to switch into it with three layers of spikes down, and Cacturn goes down, well, got its three layers, but... Also, I uh, didn't end up missing all my attacks on it, so that's pretty good. So, this is annoying. Hopefully, he doesn't have Roar. He does have Roar. But I'm going to Focus Punch and smack the Swampert real good. Because that is what this thing does. So, yikes. Both Tyranitars are... Yikes. <laughs> Sorry about that, that's pretty dumb. Well, I gotta be really careful around that stupid Zapdos now. Might have to pull some tricks with my Destiny Bond Haunter. Which would not be ideal, but, you know. Arrow? Okay. Well, I am gonna have to sack against it, but he was looking to slam... I don't know what he was looking to slam. I was, I mean, Tar takes an earthquake and kills back, but I was going to say that's worth it. So, speaking of things I got to sack against, this, but it is also worth it in order to um yeah, I'm going to have a spike sack here cuz I don't really care about actually no, I'm going to Do I want to drill peck it down? No, I'm going to roar. I'll save a drill peck for if I get flinched. Twice. But that's not going to happen. I just want to phase it out, force out the last, which is probably a Gengar. Alright, well... Yeah, I'll just... So that didn't work out. I thought I would end up keeping my... Oh, it's a Blissey. Alright, well, I'll go to my own Blissey and Soft Boiled. So this one should be alright. Wow, he's HP Grass. That's crazy. So he's T-Wave, Soft Boiled, HP Grass. Well, this one's gonna be a long one, so I'll look for another in the meantime. One of these Untitled's got to do it. Yep. Okay. Well. That's that for you. I'll use my Spike Sack to... Ice Punch. Hopefully to hit a Zapdos Pivot. Huh. I wonder what set it is. Well, because uh, mostly, well, he only gets one more switch into Tar, so. I mostly wonder because I, I wonder if I can beat it with Haunter. <laughs> well, 
I've got spit F, so I live a Claydol Psychic in Sand. Um, all right, I'm gonna wait until we both soft boil, and so I can stay at full health for the Zapdos. All right, go Haunter. Don't get T waved. Cool. I can Taunt Wisp, and I can Destiny Bond, so Taunt prevents T-Wave, and now I'm going to Destiny Bond. Awesome, good job, Haunter. Taking down Blissey. What a beast. Alright, well, I'm going to go to Blissey because I will have a good matchup against Zapdos. I'm going to Ice Beam because I'm expecting Roar, so I want to damage it instead of just healing and having done nothing. I'll still be fine against it from half HP. Perfect. I just don't want to... Shit, I can lose to it. If he Thunder Wave me there, I could have lost to another pair of Flinch from Tar. But So that was a bit hasty, but should have sacked Pert, but that's eh, all fine. Still wasn't guaranteed. Actually, it was... Actually, that was pretty guaranteed, so... Uh, yeah. At least that one worked out, and I've been looking for a Gen 4 game, and I have not been getting one, so at least there's that, and at least Gen 3 is 1539, that's cool. Will I get another one, or do I need a pick-me-up from Jinx? Oh, good, I'm playing Linear. That ain't fun. Hera, also ain't fun. Well, I'm not getting focus-punched right away, so I'll just go to Skarm now and get my spike. So at least Heracross has been um, not primed, uh, chipped. And that is helpful for Swampert later. Now I'm assuming this is going to be a mix mens. I mean, these three pair very well with Mag, but I'm imagining Mag is going to come in there. And I'm also imagining he's going to Brick Break attempting to force down Blissey, so I'm going to Go right to it, get the soft boiled up. I don't know what kind of team he's running, it's looking very offensive. But I'm gonna go to Gengar because I don't mind eating a Megahorn. That's, that was a good move on his end. And I'm also going to Fire Punch because this thing has that. And I get HP ghosted like a fucking idiot. Good job, Kev. That wasn't stupid as hell at all. I'm going to spike again because now uh, that helps against the Hera. I'm going to protect for health like I should have before. So I just, I'm just deciding to be stupid today, it seems. And I managed to... I'm going to wish... No, no, no. What, what am I doing? No, I've got a soft boiled. Because uh, I need to be at full health for that. So here comes uh, that... I'm assuming there's going to be a DD Tar. I want to check out what kind of set he's running. He's also banded. All right. Well, um, I should have protected. Why the hell did I not? Well, did I not protect? Hmm. So now I'm gonna Will O Wisp a Sceptile. That's cool. Well, I assume this is gonna have. I don't know what this is gonna have. Oh, Pursuit. That's really cool. And I live by the skin of my teeth, and the Gengar is, or the Heracross is still a problem. Leech Pursuit is a very cool combination of moves on Sep. Well, hopefully HP Fire doesn't take me out from 43. I can't imagine it. I mean, it might, because Sceptile is not good at killing stuff from full health, but... Alright, well, Skarmory... No, Skarmory's 100% out of range. So that is beautiful. And I'll get the third spike and kill the Heracross. And that's amazing. And Blissey is now in Brick Break range for Mence, but I can still sack Haunter. So, that's cool. He's going to spam Brick Break. That's cool because he can actually switch into me. It's cool for... Uh, for him to have. I want to reveal more of his pokes. Disaster. Alright. Oh, that's not a 
Lefty Suiku, and I'm very intrigued as to what that is. Resto Chesto, I guess. Well, eat a big hydro, but it's fine ish. Gera, that ain't fun. Well, I'm gonna tar. I feel like he might earthquake, but yeah, it's definitely a Chesto thing, so I think. Hopefully, he's not taunt. He's definitely earthquaking here, but I can't afford. Okay, he's at HP flying. So. Yes, that is what I wanted to catch. That is really good. I'm going to check if he's... If I can keep my Skarm's health high, then that's really good. And another nice thing is that I can use my Swampert against... Uh, I can use my Swampert more freely because he's going to definitely use HP Grass here. But I can use Swampert more freely because he doesn't have a Tyranitar. Okay, that's really good. And now I've got a special defensive pert. Uh, how much bulk do I have on this? A lot. Like, nearly max. Alright, let's see. Mixments, Fire Blast, 14.6. So, don't know if he's naive or not. That could just be the absolute max roll from that. But HP Grass is not coming close to killing, so I get a nice Toxic on Suicune. He's Lum. Alright, so... Metagross only gets one more switch, which is nice, and I'm trying to keep my key pieces alive. And it's mainly Skarmory, Swampert, and well, everything is key at this point. Well, he's probably going to Spike Sack here, or he's going to rest, but even if he Spike Sack, then Hera goes down. Alright, so he doesn't have a Spike Sack, I'm at full health, I'm not letting anything get boomed. Haunter it is, because even if he switches now, then Metagross is dead to Spike, so the threat is gone. So he Meteor Mashes, and alright, now it's time to think. What do I want him to go into? Hmm. Or, actually, it's not that simple because I have to take a hit. So that was a smart move from him. Alright, I will go to this and I will surf. Oh, he, s he saves the spike sack. Now he has several spike sacks. What's he going for? Rest Gera, maybe? Well, now he's got two spike sacks. I'm going to Toxic. Thank God he doesn't crit the HP grass. And that's really good. Is he going to be a refresh? Alright, HP Grass against this bulky a Swamp Hurt. Let's check out what it is. Uh, if I can calc how much investment he has. If he's knowing linear, it's going to be max special attack. Or, uh, okay, obviously max special attack. Uh, plus speed, I mean. But I want to be certain before I start calcing that. Because even a I can probably live even a plus attack one here, or a plus special attack one here. Um, Swampert is less valuable, that's 100% true, because it's all about Skarmory and Tar to do, deal with Gera. Um, Sceptile's basically dead, this is dead, this is dead, Hera and Meta are both dead, and Metagross is... Alright, uh, I want Salamence, Calcs. Thing is, he was fire blasting my Blissey, so I, who knows what that's gonna tell him. Or that's what that's gonna tell me. So, 48, 15, 15.4, so Timid could be. What else did he use? I'll just have to control F Salamence used. Brick Break, Fire Blast. Fire Blast versus Swampert, which we already calced. Alright, no way of knowing. So I'm going to say, even if he is plus special attack, it's very unlikely he KOs me here. So I'm going to go for that Surf. Plus he doesn't know that I have that much special defense. 
So he's just spamming Brick Brick. He's really aiming for Blissey. And I think I'm just going to let this go, honestly, because I don't really have use for it. Um... Yeah, I'll just go for a double protect, and I get it. And he just spam Brick Break. He was he knew Swampert is useless. It's the... Yeah, okay, I don't care about this going down. That is fine. I'm not risking Skarmory. I don't care if this dies. So... Starter battle, and it goes down. Um... I'm gonna go to... He's going to sack everything and then go to Gera. So I'm going to... If he's rest... If he's not rest... Yeah, I just want lefties. So if he's not rest, then I will just wear him down. And if he is rest... Alright, he's giving me more lefties. He's getting extra intimidate. Smart move. And I can't do anything about it because he is that. Um... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to Roar just in case he DDs. But after this, I'm going to go right to Tar. And I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go right to Tar. Oh, and I Roar. Nice move on his end. Now I'm going right to Tar. Because unless he crits this Earthquake... Alright, Rock Slide, and that works. So, GG. Yeah, uh, basically I was going to try to force rest, and if he's not rest, Skarm will beat it anyway. And if not, then, um... And if he is rest, then I just have to get it in on Met Gera at any point. Um, so, that worked. But yeah, Tar lived a plus one slide, so... Uh, whew, that was a hell of a game. Despite my embarrassing Gengar gaff. So, interesting one. Um... I'm going to save this one just because I think people will want to see it. That was a bit vain, but what the hell. Alright, well... At least Gen 3 now, I'm higher than I was before. Top 11. Alright, well, keep going. Haunter seems to be working. There's something to be said for quitting while you're ahead, though, so I'm going to do that, rather than getting tempted. Uh, 180 this. No, I want this one. Alright, Wild Drud. I'm blowing this Swampert the hell up, because I don't have rocks. So, hopefully he's a slow tank, and not a banded pert. Because uh, that would be disastrous. Alright, well that's out of the way. I'm going to go to Tar. Hopefully he doesn't go to a Breloom. That is perfect. I'm going... Getting rocks. Do I have Lum on this? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't. That's like a very offensive Heatran. That's like modest max special attack. Excuse me. Uh, so, okay, that was just a high roll then. And that is not... He's leftovers, but he's not going to get that high roll again. And he just blows up. Maybe Rotom was my move. Oh, well. Well, time to see what's going on with Dragonite as Latias comes in and I am not good against it. And I've got a choice band, Dragonite. Or, uh, that. So that's Specs. So what's going to come in? I'm going to trick it a band. Hey, that works because now Dragonite is really scary. Um, I'm going to go to... Hmm. Probably like a, I th maybe there's Breloom last. I'll go to my own Rotom to thwart Thunderbolts. Oh come on! I'm gonna burn this tar. Burn, burn, burn. Well, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh good, he's that. All right. Well, now I gotta hope and pray. Because he's very clearly banded. So now I cannot win because I just don't have enough turns. Fuck! And I could have burned him again if he didn't fucking Thunderbolt paralyze me. So that's one. Oh, and he just got cleaned up completely by Dragonite. So that was fucking dumb. 
and I'm below 1500 again. Well, oh. okay, specs toad spam scald. God, that was fucking dumb. Imagine if he doesn't para, because the, then I get two shots of hitting the wisp, and that, so that game was won. That feels wonderful. Well, I'm not going to dick around. I'm going to spam Ice Beam. Oh, he went to Tentacruel. Okay. Now I wish I had not done that. Why didn't I just Scald? Forgot the golden rule. Well, I'm going to go to this as he sets up T-Spikes, and now shit's going to drop. And I'm going to confuse this. Nice. So he's not going to hit me with Scald. Nice. Give me something. Wow. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yep, that's, uh, that's that. It just dies, that's correct. Well, I'm gonna sack the Politoed. Oh, so he's either not Specs or... Alright. Well, time for Specs Pump to kill the Tentacruel. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Can't really complain. But I am going to knock the shit out of this. And now he... I just realized he has no Steel types. And he's... Oh, but this is my modest thing, so... Well, luckily this is another Tornadus Blast. So hopefully I can... Uh, withstand the onslaught, so... Hell yeah, Tornadus. He's not gonna be spec, so... Yeah, Starmie should win this too, and I win the tie as he doesn't Tailwind, and I'm just gonna keep spamming it. Who gives a shit if he's Scarf? Bulky dies. Yep, fine. And now this, and that's the game. So I'll be wrapping up soon. I'll just keep looking for slamming with this. So, cool. Black and white at least isn't completely... Oh, it's still lower than it was, but what the hell. Alright, nothing for it is. No, not that. That's because it's... Ah, oh, well. Fine. Gen 3 again. Oh no, not this again. <sighs> Alright, well. We are doing this, I guess. God damn it. Why did I have to willingly run, subject myself to this again? Alright, well. I'm not risking anything, so I'm going to Swampert. Dragon Claw. Seems like a pretty safe Toxic, considering I'm out of range. That works nicely. I'll just go back to Skarm and get Spike. Yep, keeping healthy for those bastards. I'm gonna wish and I'm gonna regret it immensely because I played I didn't soft boiled I did not follow my own rule so I'm gonna go to tar because I feel like I need to regain some offensive ground 
I'm going to be more careful with Gengar this time around. Yeah, I don't know what set this Sceptile is. I'm just going to hope it's not Brick Break or something. Probably is, but you know. Oh, I get to heal my thing. That's great. Wait, no, 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 no. Why the fuck didn't I go to Swamp Hurt? That was really dumb, and I got lucky. So I'm going to go for those spikes like I need to, and I'm getting some luck here. I'm going to just keep... Yep, I need those. I'm going to play it safer. Yeah, it's all about Gengar at this point. Alright, I'm going to heal. And the problem is that Swamp Skarmory can't live, but I will get health back up on Swampert. So that is a problem with running... Um, what should I call it? Defense, uh, special defense Swampert. It, wow. All right. Well, I'm gonna destiny bond this thing, or no? I'm gonna, I'm gonna thunderbolt just in case Sceptile comes in. Cause I, I'm trying to win with. Oh, I definitely messed up my positioning in this game. Uh, why didn't I just fucking go for the... Uh, why didn't I mess up? I messed up big time. It's not over. In fact, it still looks fairly decent, all things considered, but... Is this thing like... Oh, well, alright. At least the things will start dropping soon. Oh, the problem is that... Wait, no, 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 I gotta think this through, because uh, HP Ghost won't kill, but then Sceptile might, but then it's up to, and then I might lose to the, um, yeah, he's gonna Rock Slide here. I might just have to stay in against the Sceptile. I don't have special D bulk, hopefully Rock Slide's looking for... Skarm, yeah. All right. Well, and then he's gonna win with his uh, CB Gross because I played like a fucking idiot. I definitely should have had this one a lot closer than it is. But assume he's just gonna sack. So if I can, he. I don't think he can afford to heal. Uh, well, I'm. You never know with Linear, but I don't think he can, uh, yeah, he's, no, he did it, fuck, actually, can I, hmm, do I need to keep this alive, I'm gonna calc against the Sceptile, Actually, it might be Crunch, so it might not even make a difference. God, I played this like a fucking moron. Well, I'm thinking, do I sack... What am I sacking here? To get in Skarmory, is it... Am I sacking the tar, or... Because I'm thinking I need something to take out Ments. But I also need this to not lose the Sceptile, so I think I got a sack to the Tar. And I'm going to get greedy because I have to. I absolutely have to uh, make that pivot. So Heracross, Skarmory, um, four defense, so Rock Slide does not... Actually, I'm out of Rock Slide range. Amazingly. Don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch. Yes. I mean, it's still not looking very good at all, but um, it's not looking over. So, obligatory protect before I decide what I'm going to sack. I need Gengar. I need Blissey at full.
Salamence, Mixmence versus Max Special D Skarm. Dragon Claw is not KOing. So I'm going to hope for a Fire Blast miss. Thank God. That is huge. That is really huge. Now I think I actually might win. God, I it shouldn't have come to this. CB Gross, I'm pretty sure, doesn't... It's a roll to KO. So I'm just going to... Thank goodness, that's really good. Hopefully I don't bring in Ments, but I can't really complain either way. Uh, God, I, I'm sorry about the way this went. I should have... I, I mean... I got a bunch of dodges against his gross earlier, and then he crit, his, crit boosted his way through my pert, and then I fucked up. But, um, yeah, okay, this one is over now. Is it? I'm going to make 100% sure. Salamant? Yeah, it should be. Unless I have completely lost my mind. I, mean, I, I played pretty well in the early game, but I didn't I messed up down the road so Metagross goes down and Suicune goes down to Spike so Jesus well that was a pretty good boost up the ladder now I'm suddenly number six but I'm gonna quit there so we'll look at our final rankings for everything I'll save this one too although this is more a reminder to myself of how because uh, people in the advanced discord are saying, um, you know, they saw me playing with this team, so I'll save these as the best examples I've had so far. Oh god, I played this disastrously. <laughs> Imagine if I debonded the fucking meta like I should have. I was just paranoid of Sceptile, but Thunderbolt doesn't even fix that issue. So that was just stupid of me. I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, getting in my own head, that's what I was doing. So RBY took a hit, Gen 2 took a hit, Gen 4 took a hit, Gen 5 took a hit. But Gen 3 is looking pretty high up there, so that's really cool. Uh, you know what? I have enough time for one more Gen 5, just because I... Had, especially if it's quick, so... Cool. Very cool. Um, yeah. We'll just see, because I have uh, 19 minutes left, and... This team plays at the speed of light, and I would like to get some ground back. I mean, it, it wasn't like a huge collapse or anything, and at least the boost in advance um, makes up for it somewhat. So that was nice. But, yeah. Uh, so, overall, it wasn't bad. Uh, you win some, lose some. Exemplified perfectly here. Uh, Gen 3, can I get a last quick one? Come on. Let's get something. I'm not that high up. Not even at 1500. I'll just go double time then. So yeah, Haunter Gengar team is pretty cool. Uh, I guess there's that to be said, even though what it does is that it doesn't really give you defensive... Uh, it doesn't shore up any defenses. It's pretty much entirely an offensive tool. Alright. Jellicent Sand. I hate it. Jellicent uh, Jirachi Sand. Really, really hate it. I'm going to try and power whip this tar because I can get major damage on it. That's really nice. Now I'm going to get rocked because I live even a belt fire blast. So hopefully I'll knock off this Jirachi. Oh god, he's sub. Alright, well I'll just get hazards. Uh, if he's like that icy wind set, then I'm just going to max hazard his ass. Well, that's nice. And now I'm going to save my Power Whip PP by eroding him with knockoff. So, this is a pretty good start. If 
15, 17, and this. I should really start checking that ladder thing, that uh, 14, 30. So he's pretty high up there, too, but you never know. Icy wind. I mean, I'm getting lucky here, but I'm just trying to take the Jirachi down with me because that is really good for... Uh, I mean, I'll be sacking against Latios. Like, everyone has to because Latios is busted, but it'll it's nice to... Because then he'll be pretty bad himself against uh, my Torn and my... Oh, Starmie. Okay. Starmie into Pharaoh. That is generally a sign of desperation. So I'm just going to keep getting up the rocks and the spikes. Because this is definitely not ending well for him. He can't even scald me. I mean, he can, but I'm just going to keep loading up on hazards. That is really nice. I get rocks and spikes, and I get to knock off this... I don't. That lives. Absolutely lives, but... Oh, frigging well. Okay, well, something is going to get fucking nuked here. Oh, that's irritating. Maybe I should have gone right to Toad, been more aggressive, but at least this Jirachi is getting s slammed by... God, that is like a max special defense sub-Jirachi? What the fuck is up with that? Well, he thunders, makes the good move. Hopefully he gets scared and grunts to Jellicent. Gets scared of Scarf, I mean. Or Starmie, that would be really nice. I want my hazards to stay, because he crit the fucking Ferrothorn. Should have been more careful. Fuck! God fuck! Fucking damn it. Don't para. Fuck you. Fuck. Alright, at least he didn't iron head. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I just... I meant to go Starmie, but that... Alright, well... Gotta end on the high note, right? So... Wow, look at that. Do it again, bastard. Fuck this. I'm so sick of the random fucking jellicence on sand. Uh, black and white lat. All the ladders are kind of driving me insane. And under 1,502 of them, so only advance remains. So at least there's that. Um, I do want to end on a good note, though. As everything but advance took that big hit today. Anything? Come on. I'll go for one more, I guess. I'll have to start using real teams, which is a lot less fun. You know what? If I'm going to go out, then it'll be with these guys. The Zatu fucking Jellicent Sands. Because that's normal. I'm not really a Zelda guy. This just came on autoplay. But, yes. Alright. Uh, good. More... Italian fun. Well, at least I've got a Fori. And uh, some pretty good Volcarona checks. So, that's pretty awesome. I'm leading Vol uh, Fori because I want to get up rocks quickly. And force in his fury, which allows Darm to go crazy. Because he is obligated to clear off rocks, rapid ASAP. And as a result, then... Uh, I will get free Darm switches, and everything will die. So that's the goal. And this is a good Italian player, clearly, because 
the Italian gang is coming out of the woodworks to spectate. Perfect, I'll take it. Now, if he goes to Volk, then that's actually perfect, because I have like a million checks. Cool, so now Darm, Flare Blitz, if he goes Fory, then I'll just keep Rocks up, so that works. Gliscor, this hilariously dies. <laughs> this is what I needed. Who needs anything else when you've got a fucking Distrudo Darmanitan? What the hell do you mean I'm switching? No. Flare Blitz. <laughs> oh, goodbye. What a great feeling. No, I, can't, I can't afford to switch against Tyranitar. I have to keep attacking. So, the goal is to win with my Scarf Infernape. And now, something else big is going to get walloped, so... Like that Fortress. So... I didn't quite get a kill there, but I do uh, manage to... What do I go to? Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm faster with Fori, so I'm actually going to Earthquake. Oh, he spiked. Shit, why didn't I... Alright, let's calc. I don't have Roar on Ninetales anymore, unfortunately, and I thought I did. Um, Volk. Flare Blitz is not quite going to do it. I'm afraid of Bug Gem shit. So I gotta go right to Ape, and just... Cool, I'll take that. I'm just going to... Hmm. I could potentially be okay thanks to Scarf Latios too, so I'm going to U-turn on Rotom and get rocks and then repeat this process. Yeah, so this... And I will trick this. Actually, I kind of want to T-Wave. Yeah, I'm going to T-Wave because even if he's not lump... Fuck, he's lump. Thank God he didn't dance twice. I'm probably losing this now, but at least Darmanitan, two a KO. Oh, Code of Gliscor and two a KO to Tar. So good enough. Also, he was also fast for He wasn't that min speed shit. So I should have just taken it easy and gotten hazards, or just played it around it differently in general. At least now Volk is actually. Er, not Volk. Ninetales is not looking like the worst thing. And hopefully he is a non-Scarf Latios. He just lets me kill the Volk. I don't know why. He's got the Rotom at full. I gotta keep Ninetales healthy. Uh, and I don't know what I'm going for. When he goes Rotom, I honestly kind of feel like I have to sack the Latios. And I let him get the spike off, which is really obnoxious. If he goes Tar, I just have to attack. Um... If he goes Rotom, I don't want to get Ninetales Volt switched on. So if he goes Rotom, I'm also probably going to just have to Flare Blitz and accept. I go hope he goes Latio so I find out what set he is. Cool. That's perfect. He is that. Alright. I get the burn. Uh, yeah, okay, good, perfect, KO. <laughs> well, at least there's that. <laughs> so even if the game is toast, and I'm still faster than support Tars, I actually don't know what's faster, or what's stronger, uh, Victini or um, the other thing, Darmanitan. You know what, I'm going to find out right now. Victini... Uh, choice Band versus Rotom Wash. Just God, that analysis is old. Uh, versus they actually run Max Defense, but in Sun, so Darm that says eighty, so eighty Max. 
And so it is actually Darmanitan. Well, Fortress walls this in sun because they don't run HP fire anymore. And I can... Do I go back to Tar or do I spin? Let's calc. Victini... Oh, you physical attacker versus Tyranitar. Support. V-Create will probably kill from 46, and then... Hmm. Well, U-Turn... Well, U-Turn would also KO. So I'm going to... Wait, no, 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 don't, ru don't rush. Why the fuck did I rush it? Why? Well, I can still live too, so... I think I'm still okay. Actually, I might not be. Because I got a V-Create, kill the tar, take chip, and he might win with Dragon Pulse. So I got a... Uh, okay. Protect. It's all a matter of stalling him now. Can Ninetales stall out the Scarf Latios and Sun? It's got max special defense still, and I'm thankful for that in this scenario. So Surf does absolutely nothing, so I'm going to burn him. And protect. And I'm going to try and be safe. I'm going to Calc versus Fortress 2. Uh, since this is max special defense. Surf also does nothing, but I'll try to keep it. All right, he's going to save me the trouble. So that is a good note to end on. So a lot of downs today. But wow, I managed to get a nice boost back exactly where I was before that last game. So... Uh, advance was a good was good today no losses there and we climbed up to number six so uh, we'll just look at that one more time and I'm very we're getting there so at least there's that so I am gonna take a break for a few days because today is Monday and I have class in five minutes and I'm gonna focus on the school stuff although who knows when this will be uploaded but uh, it's gonna be a couple days before I pick this up again because I think at this point I really need to get my shit together so I don't just keep falling down. But yeah, so the final look at today's ratings is that. So RBY dropped, GSC dropped a little. I guess they both dropped a little. Gen 3 went up, noticeably up. Gen 4 dropped, so not a horrible amount. And Gen 5 dropped, also not a horrible amount. But takeaway was definitely Gen 3. And also this finish where uh, Darmanitan O-Code Gliscor without Sun... It two a KO'd Titar cleanly, and it um, and then Victini managed to do Victini things. So thank God. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you next time.